Bitch, you thirsty, please grab Sprite. My crib's lurking, don't die tonight. What's up, guys? This is my first video of 2017. That's so exciting. It's not my first upload of 2017 because I uploaded a What High School Is Actually Wearing, which thank you for all the positive feedback on it. Also, if you notice that the first, I think it's the first four or five minutes of the audio are really crackly. I'm going to call my network and ask what that's about because I got a copyright claim for background music on a section and it said it was going to be blocked in other countries. I obviously wanted everyone to watch that so I just got rid of that clip of audio through YouTube but then the audio started crackling and it's really annoying but it goes away I promise like the video is so cute anyway that like you're able to make it through just based on all the kids cuteness. Oh my god I love those videos so much. Plenty more are going to be filmed in 2017. I just wanted to let you know that if you thought that it was a problem with your phone, it's not. It's completely on my end. If it bothers you that much, just skip to the five minute mark. What else? The background. The background's different. I'm in a new room. What the fuck? That's so exciting. I'm living in New York City. If you didn't know, this is a temporary room. I'm only going to be living here for about two months. But I really have begun to fancy it. Like the brick, the plants. If you want to see a room tour, I have a picture that I posted of it on my Instagram. A lot of you saw that photo already and then you commented saying you want a room tour. So go there if you want a sneak peek. And if you want a real room tour, then I will film that next. Also my hoodie. This is my hoodie. Oh my god. I don't know if any of you have been following me on Twitter. But my Twitter bio is I like my mind more than my face. I was messing around on Photoshop created like these alphabet fridge letters that said it and then I posted on Twitter and I was like someone's got to make this into a hoodie. I did it. Like I made it into a hoodie and now they're up for sale and it's limited edition. It's just like a really quick thing. You have like 15-20 days to buy the sweatshirt and they're going to all be shipped out and then I'm not going to make any more of them. I'll have a link down below for that. They come in four colors. I'm wearing the red one right now. There's also a black, there's a white, and then there's a royal blue. I'm wearing the red one right now. This is a medium. It's really comfortable. I've been wearing it seriously every single night. I got the white one. It's in the mail. It should be coming soon in a double XL or an XL because I want to wear it as a dress. Yeah, if you want one, I know a lot of people have been asking, like, when is it coming? It's here now, so go order it. Let's get into the makeup. It's this look right here. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm living in a place temporarily, so I didn't want to bring my entire makeup collection with me. So all of my makeup products fit into this tiny little pouch. That's such a feat for me, you know? But I never thought I'd be able to do that. First thing I'm going to do is take actually everything out of this bag so I can see what I have. Because I do variations of different looks based on where I'm going, what I'm feeling, I tried to pick the most versatile products so I can kind of create a day look, a natural look, a night look, a mid-afternoon look, you know, all the things. Everything is a new setup so I'm praying that lighting, exposure, focus, it's all good. That's so important during a makeup tutorial, you're like, bitch I can't see anything you're doing. Hopefully that's not the case. First thing I'm going to do is start off with Tarte's Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. This stuff is really good. And sometimes I get nervous about primers that are made with silicone, but I've been using this one for about a week, and so far my skin is fine. Sometimes I like to get the eyelids. I don't know why people don't ever put foundation on their eyelids, so I always do that. But I haven't been wearing foundation. That's in the bathroom because I'm like, bitch, I don't need it. My skin's been good. Now I'm going to take one of my vitamins while this sets in been really into hump vitamins. I've heard about them from so many other people. Uh, this one is the red carpet. So for glowing skin and shiny hair, you're supposed to take two a day. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Oh my god, I also have to take my birth control. <laughs> Where is that? Currently I'm taking Sprintec. What are y'all into? I'm just kidding, I don't, I don't care what birth control you're taking. In the intro, I was going to say, skip to this time if you just want to see the makeup tutorial. And then I thought to myself, like, I know no one here is clicking this video for a makeup tutorial. Like, that is not why I'm watched. <laughs> I'm going to brush my eyebrows. I kind of stopped filling them in. I used to get so much shit for just having the worst eyebrows. <laughs> Swear to God, for a period of time, I was like, I probably have the worst eyebrows on YouTube. But the thing is, like, I was never personally insecure about them. Like, I never looked at my eyebrows and was like, ooh, these are terrible. 
I'm so insecure. It was completely brought on by my audience. <laughs> so I've just been brushing them, and when I put on mascara, I'll add some to my eyebrows, as you will see. Okay. It's not quite... It's okay. For concealer, I've been using Clinique's Airbrush Concealer, and I'm in the shade 07 Light Honey. But my skin has been changing a little bit, but I've been so into concealer recently, and it wasn't... I always put on foundation. Like, I was such a foundation or, like, tinted moisturizer kind of user. Until one day, I was putting on my concealer before my foundation as opposed to after, and I looked at my skin... I was like, I don't really think I need to put on foundation. I have this one spot that I've been messing around with so much right here. I need to cut it. I need to stop it. And then I just blend it in with my fingers, honestly. Do you hear that? That's so annoying. <laughs> Come on, dude. It wouldn't bother me otherwise. But I'm filming, so now I'm like, ah! If I think this video is cute, it might go up. <laughs> but other than that, I don't think this is a good makeup tutorial. I just miss you guys. I just want to talk. I feel good. I want to share. Next thing. Oh, I was making the point. Not sure if I said this yet. Another reason I like concealer is that I can kind of keep note of how many spots I'm trying to cover up. And it's always exciting when I'm like, huh, this was less than yesterday. And... That's the goal, you know. But this has been really good, and I'm pretty sure this airbrush concealer is intended for just under eyes, but I've been using it everywhere. Next thing, I'm gonna take a Kabuki brush, throw back to Sigma. Seriously love their brushes. I used to only shop at MAC way back in the day, only had MAC brushes. And then I tried Sigma, and they honestly shed less than MAC brushes. <coughs> and they're a little bit softer. MAC brushes are kind of rough. I remember just kind of telling myself that they were the best. But anyway, Sigma Kabuki. Didn't show you the powder I'm using. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. This is amazing. I love this. I've had it forever. Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love, 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 love this stuff. It's good with a Kabuki brush. It's good with a beauty blender. And I'm just going to lightly dust this all over my face. This person is so annoying. I hate it. I want to like stop bringing it up. I feel like the more I focus on it, the more it's going to be present. But who knows. Okay. I'm also going to add a little bit to my eyelids just because they seem a bit oily for no reason. You guys are all up close and personal right now because I want to show you how amazing this is. I don't know how long you followed me, but I rep their Real Mascara by Benefit. That is, m makes my lashes look the best. Some people hate it. I love it. I think it's so good. However, didn't pack it with me. Don't remember why. I brought this. This double-ended Clinique mascara. This one is the Lash Building Primer on this side. And then the High Impact Mascara on this side. My god. I'll give you a little review on this stuff. So you're going to take the primer coat your lashes. Give it that wiggle motion because I think what it does, not 100% sure, is it puts those little fibers to lengthen your eyelashes. And I have super curly bottom lashes. And so generally, they just curl under themselves and they end up looking really short. I have really long natural lashes. Okay. Let this set, let it do its thing. Uh. We're working with it guys. Okay, so it's probably good. We're gonna take the second side, which is the mascara. And I've used this mascara before, the High Impact Mascara. It has the brush that looks like this. Definitely used this back in like 2008. Can you believe that 2008 was nearly a decade ago? I thought about that to myself the other day. I was kind of upset. That was my reaction. I was like, oh my god, I feel like I was just there. Just put this little guy on top. Oh, fuck, why is this not looking good? I was gonna make the point that it looks so bomb. It makes your lashes so long. Sometimes, you know, when you put on mascara and you're like, why does this look different today? What have I done differently to my lashes? 
Maybe I slept on them strangely. Okay, ooh, the bottom part. See, the fibers on the bottom do great things to my lower lashes. They look very fluttery. I was just so impressed because I thought this was going to be some shit. thought this was going to be shit mascara. And then I put it on. I was just so pleasantly surprised. And now here's another thing I'm going to get to. Ooh, ooh. Don't like that clump. Not a fan of you. Bye, bitch. Um... Ooh, I think they look good. You just have to really work with them. You gotta give it some love. You gotta give it the attention and TLC that it needs. Can't rush these things. There's one kind of pro and con, it's like a bittersweet aspect to this mascara duo, is that it falls off by the end of the day. Like, it doesn't last very long. But the beautiful thing about that, I don't know if any of you guys hate taking on mascara. I absolutely cannot stand it. It's the worst part about removing makeup. Am I happy with this? I could be happy with this. Yeah. Okay. Zooming back out now. Ooh. Knowing that this is hardly going to be there, I can just take a little bit of water, wash it with my face, and I'm good to go. Like, I don't walk out of the shower with raccoon eyes, and that's so nice. Like, I love it. So, highly recommend this. If you're into that, what have we done so far? Primer, concealer, powder, mascara. Pretty easy stuff. Now Dallas, this has been my little baby lately. I have never given it much attention. Used it one time when I was back home in Virginia for Christmas. Put it on as like a bronzer blush. Loved it. It's the only, only thing I've been using. And I just take the same kabuki brush and I put it here. Hmm. So I just take a kabuki brush and put it on my cheeks and the side of my face I bring it up here and then a little bit on my eyes like this oh my gosh and I just think it really gives my face a little bit of life perfect I love it then what I'm gonna do is go back in with an eyeshadow brush and then take Dallas again and just focus it on the crease to make sure. I'm gonna do a little bit underneath the eye. Okay, I zoomed you back in for more eye makeup. I'm taking Urban Decay eyeliner in Midnight Cowboy, putting this on the inner corner of my eye, a little bit under the lash line. So easy. Lip gloss. Oh my god, I hated lip gloss when I was little. I thought it was the grossest thing ever, which I guess, you know, in lights, it's, it kind of is. But this is the Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory, and it plumps up my lips. And I would love to have bigger lips. Like, I like this. I think I look cute. 2017 Lexi is going to be so good at putting everything in the description box. Everything from the Hum Vitamins to the makeup products I used. It's all going to be down there, 100%. The merch, the merch, it's so good. I really love the idea of people walking around with this message. Like, I know it's there and it makes me happy and I'm so excited for the thought of other people walking around wearing this too. Never done merch before, so I'm really excited for that. Room tour coming up. If you have any other requests for videos you want, down below. My Twitter and Instagram are both at Lexi. If you're ever trying to ask me anonymous questions, I have a Tumblr. Uh, it's trying to join ClassPass because that's the best workout system there is. You can get $30 free. Got a coupon down below. Anything else I want to say? Drink your water. Live your life. Call your grandma. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.